We have Will Smith's former best friend for about 40 years straight. He was also his assistant. And he's coming on this interview right now exposing him and the relationship that he has with Jada. He's talking about how he's walked into Will Smith banging up on other dudes. And just, it, it gets really crazy. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Make sure you do smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let's hear what he has to say. The truth will be heard. And that's where we and that's where we are. Period. Okay. <clears throat> we got a lot. That was a lot. So okay, we got we, we got the receipts. You came and you showed. So legally, what have you guys been arguing about? Was it about the payments that was owed for you promoting Hey Humans and doing the promotional give boxes for you? And no, I, I, I knew that I would not be paid for Hey Humans. I know Jada wasn't moved off that. But what what I did, what I did want to come to show today is that I did the work and I haven't been paid. So at the end of the day, that speaks for itself and multiple. Uh, Were multiple you doing events. these these deals with them kind of off contract because even your word is still a bonding contract yes people don't understand right 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 Th these are your friends for over 30 something right. years well can i just add one thing yeah, tasha yeah, yeah. not to cut you off you're good it, it's it yes your word is your contract but you have to have elements to show that there was a contract so by them seeing sending me the hey humans logo right by them seeing sending me hey humans product an email saying, okay, I'm going to do X, Y, Z with this. Pro it shows that th that makes the contract. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to hook you up, right? Mm -hmm. And so forth and so on. There, there has to be elements to prove a uh, what we call a verbal contract. But Will Will has always paid you for all the work that you've done. Oh, uh, an, an abundance. And, uh, oh, <sighs> it, Will has put a significant amount of money in my pocket. That's why... This wouldn't have been a problem with the book. When Listen, Jada comes in and say, don't give them nothing. My thing with Will was, and, and even when we're um, on my Instagram with that video where Will say, mm -hmm. you, you in the book, I blew you up. Mm -hmm. We were in the middle of all this stuff. But I'm in it with Jada. I didn't really have time to talk to Will that night, right? I didn't have time to have that good conversation with Will. But then the slap happened, and I didn't want all this stuff to come out doing this. That this would have crushed him doing the slap, right? Mm -hmm. So um, Jada essentially kept me away from Will, but Will knew what was going on, and like Jada runs Will, period. Because there's nothing that two friends of 38 years, a little small business deal, right? That might be what. Hundred and something thousand, hundred ninety thousand, whatever that amount is, right? It's two friends can work that out. But when you got your narcissist wife and sociopath wife saying, "Oh, I'm a crush him, I'm gonna kill him," this is this is criminal. Listen, so this is what happened. So Jada um, be wildin'. Of course, Charlie Mac the Rat hits me and say, "Hey, Jada wants and Will wants to talk to you." Now we're going through all this with the mediation the lawyers, everything, okay. right? This is before the interviews. Yeah, right. this is bef way before the interviews, right? Okay. So I'm I'm at the position like, okay, so this is how I have to talk to him. I got to get with Charlie Mac the Rat. He's going to have a special phone. Boom, I get with him. He's going to call Will and Jada. They're going to be on the phone. I'm going to have a conversation. So, they, so Jada was like, look, they offered me $10,000. That doesn't even cover the cost of the boxes. This is what Jada, this is Jada offering me, right? Um, and this was after the mediation. This is what they offered me. And they started off with 5,000 in the mediation. Then it went to 10 and I left the mediation, right? I'm like, y'all don't, y'all I'm not even trying to do business. I brought all these boxes to the meet. I, I showed everything that I needed to show that I did on my end as far as our contract was concerned. And there's emails supporting everything. So she said, you're going to take that $10,000. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to take the $10,000. <laughs> then she says, I would have been like, yo, who do, who do you think you are? You know what I'm saying? Jada Smith, who do you think talking to me like that? Who do you think you, you know, like wilding. She wilding. Fucking crush you if you don't take the money because if you don't take this money, now you could sue. Now, if I would have took the money at the mediation, 
it puts me in a position where I can't sue them. So then she was like, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know who you think you fucking with, but I kill you. This is Jada on the phone. I said, Will, are Jada you going to allow Jada to speak to me this way? He said, you heard what my wife said. That's when I know me and Will weren't friends. That, and he had already been acting shady because of Jada, but I just kept everything joke. Like, I know what he's going through. I know what he's going through. Yo, so, all, all I can tell you is this. If the woman becomes the head of the relationship and starts really wearing the pants, it will never, ever, 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 ever work out. It's just not how it's designed to be. The man is supposed to be the leader, but she letting Jada, he let, I called him she. I might as well. He letting, because he began in his butt anyway. You about to find out right now. But he be letting Jada just run his joint. Crazy. Right then and then, when this lady going through, I know what he's going through. So right then and then, when this lady is crushing my business, right? When this lady is making me work for free and doing all these things to me, you supposed to be my friend for 38 years. And you can't even say, Jada, just let him be. I wouldn't have took no money. Just leave me alone. Right, Will, I ain't got to never talk to you but again. Yeah, she got you tied up in court. With she, right, 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 right. Mediation. Right, so it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I'll take the 5000 Will, you ain't got to never talk to me again. Jada, you ain't never got to talk to me again. You was willing to never talk to Will yes, again? Yes, because she ha people don't understand. It's just like, I'm sweating. Like, she controls this man. Jada controls Will in a way. Bro, I, be that I believe he, it, bro. Okay. Let me let me just take a beat. So there's a viral video that's going around. You gotta and, and you gotta put this in perspective. He's about to get into a real good part, but you have to put this in perspective. She's come out on the red table talk, and has talked about how she never ever wanted to marry Will. Will Smith really wanted to marry her. Like he knew that she didn't want to marry, but he still went through the entire process. That's just like a huge amount of leverage just in the relationship alone. She doesn't really care about this dude for real. You know what I'm saying? She did it. She didn't want to marry him. So of course he's gonna be taking advantage of. Her. I'm pretty sure Will Smith has done some things too, but we have confirmation right here that she really be running his joint. Let me let me just take a beat. So there's a viral video that's going around, and and this is no shot at Will. Okay. There's a viral video going around with a, a gentleman rubbing, uh, massaging Will with his thing his his junk on his back right yeah and Will's, is that the, the uh, only a man knows what a man needs th that, that that video, video. okay what that is a man hand that's a man hand hey the pressure changed do y'all uh, only a man knows what a man needs <laughs> so the 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 guy who's giving yeah. will the massage is jada pinkett's brother his name is caleb okay right so, and of course, you look at that video and, and, and it almost seems sexual. It doesn't seem like just a regular massage, okay. right? So, how do I say this? Um, Caleb's going through a divorce right now, mm -hmm. right? And bottom line is, Caleb and Will are fucking. Damn! And this is the hell y'all got going her on? Her blood brother who's massaging on Will, taking these trips with Will. She, she, every real dude that Will had around him has been removed and replaced with Jada's family <laughs> and friends, right? So, Will just as bad though, I'm not gonna lie to you. He over here is smashing his wife's brother. Never heard of, never heard of that one before. Not gonna lie. Will of old is not the will of now. So I'm, it's like, it, this don't even need for us to be friends. But now, then on the other side, they were all together through on Thanksgiving. Now I'm gonna tell you the power of this internet with over a billion impressions. My understanding that Will is now thinking about coming out as bisexual. Mm -hmm. Them knowing all the information that I have. He should. Will is thinking about becoming, uh, making a statement of him being bisexual. How'd you find that out? Because there are people around that hate Jada. There are people, there are so many people in the circle 
that hate that the way she treats people is like trash so when you always hear there's a source you always hear from a lot of big news those are the sources those are the people that's around that's like yo this chick is crazy and i hope will does come out as bi i hope will admits to beating jada right and seek forgiveness for that because there's it's no reason to beat her right i don't condone oh, that you sound like uh, you want to beat her though no, I, 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 I want. I, I mean, wanna, it's not funny. Domestic violence yeah, is not funny. It, yeah, but the way it's, it's not and funny. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's, 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 it's nothing funny about it. It ain't, but it ain't only Diddy wilding up there in the industry, man. This is how. This is where victory comes. Like this is where my victory come because sometimes words hurt more than fists. So, do you feel like if Will? comes out jada won't have this power over him anymore she'll have a little bit of power but see here's the thing and this is why i don't talk about my book much the things that happen with them too in scientology keeps them bonded because we got to look at sexual assaults and a bunch of other things that happen sexual assault yeah so so basically if you look at and see i don't really want to get into this because now i'm gonna have another enemy with the church of scientology yeah, i'm gonna have somebody else trying to kill me you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, I will say, just look at Danny Masterson's trial and how he was raping women inside of Scientology and doing just all kind of lewd and lascivious acts on, on women. But inside the Church of Scientology, you are not allowed to report to the police. Everything has to happen internally. Right. So I don't want to get too Why? deep into it. But if you just look at the celebrities who are, who are in Scientology, if, if you commit a crime, then everything the judge is inward is not outward. So, you know, you're not supposed to report to the police everything. You're supposed to report to the hierarchs in Scientology. And Will and Jada were in Scientology for a number of years and opened the school. Right. That's the book. That's that's the book. And I'm telling you, you're going to need Kleenex and a puke bucket when you read the book about their acts in Scientology. I'm going to leave that there. So Will would just, this information, like, is it the circle that's talking or is it Will talking directly to you? Is it Jada talking to you? Is it the kids talking to you? Like, this is a lot of information. It's like, I lot. have people around me, and I, Lord knows I don't do any of this kind of stuff. Right. But I, I don't talk to people. And it's not because I don't trust people. It's I don't have shit going on. So it's right. kind of like 38 years. Like, this is this man's whole life and this woman's damn near whole marriage. And it seems like you have it, not Jada, but you have it in the palm of your hands. Like, you... Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 we got we got to look at this, too. So when she was dealing with Mark, so there were two separations between Will and Jada. There were two. The time she was dealing with Mark and, and this is from Jada's, not from me. Jada and Will were separated five years around that stuff with Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. her, her fucking Mark Anthony. Right. Then this recent re revelation that they have been separated for almost seven years. So that's 12 years. This is what I want people to see. So Jada and Will have been separated in their marriage 12 years. Are you trying to tell me that Will has been celibate during these stages? Okay. So, okay. There was a little girl I used to see with him on all his trips. Okay. And then there was a guy with like gray dreads. Okay. What happened on that balcony? You said we could talk about that. See, see, what I don't want to see, here's my thing, Tasha. What I don't want to do is make this a will bashing, right? Because. That's not bashing. I just want to know what the hell happened on that balcony. So, so uh, th this is what I'll say to you. What I'm going to play a video today. Okay. Um, where Will is grabbing another man's penis. Oh, whoa, right? whoa. Um, <laughs> playing with his nipple okay. and trying to put his finger up his butt. Right? The front door. No, not, yo, not him and Carlton from Fresh Prince, bruh. Oh, man, I've done forgot about Carlton, dog. Damn. That whole Fresh Prince cast must have been going crazy. Or it might have been, damn, bro. 
Will Smith and Carlton. I mean, I used to watch Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And Carlton is over there giggling and chuckling like he's not grabbing a dang beef stick. Like he ain't grabbing his whole nipple. Oh man. <laughs> This is beyond me. This is not okay, bro. <laughs> At this point, Will, you don't even need to come out. You're you confirming it for us. We already know you're bi. You don't need no need to for Will to come out anymore. He done admitted that he's bi. And look, this is what I and, and look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna title this video Will Admits That He's Bi. And look it, I already know I'm gonna get the the click all oh, this dude is clickbaiting, boom, boom, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Yo, look it, this is the this is the thing. I'm a 23-year-old YouTuber. It's it's a part of the YouTube game. If you're going to hate on a 23-year-old YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? Following his dreams, getting views, making money, have building a community, watching videos with you guys, and still entertaining y'all over some clickbait, you just hating at that point. Yeah, hey, you really just hating at that point, right? Yo, anyone that comments clickbait, I'm going I'm to time stamp this part of the video. Because, bro, it's a fact. Bro, if anything, if Will is not verbally admitting, yo, I'm gay or I'm bisexual or I get in my butt, this clip Isn't right here says enough. He's trying to put his finger up his butt, he, he, right? He's physically admitting it here, bro. Whoa! See, no man does that. I'm going I'm to I'm tell y'all one thing. You know, when dudes, teenagers are growing up, you know, God, guys know it. There is always that one dude in the group that'll make gay jokes. It'll be like, pause. Boom, boom, boom. Grab a nipple? Nah, that's too far. Smacking butt? Nah, that's kind of too far, too. You know what I'm saying? Maybe on the football team, you, you, good job. But now grabbing the beef stick, grabbing the sausage is where you're just... I can't hang around you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're going... All right, let's let the video play, bro. Right. I Man, mean, hopped up. the video because of Jada saying she made another statement to TMZ that, oh, Bro, I need get some Will water doesn't like here. men or any of that. Well, why is he out here grabbing men penises? This is what, see, see, all this is now, my war is with Jada now. Will is helpless to the side. Will is going to do whatever Jada says to do. So my fight is with Jada because I, I don't see if you really love this Yo. world. Bilal, you might as well just call him a bitch at this point. I'm going to be honest with you. Because that's basically what he said just in a polite way. Woman, right? And she really loves you. Why are you not going to break your celebrity and say, come out? Like, Will, you and I need to talk. But you send your husband, I mean your wife, Jada, to do all the talking. You said husband. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the separated husband. So it's like, it's, it's, it's sad because I don't want to bash Will, but... Will, what, what you let Jada do to me is unforgivable as a friend. This is unforgivable. So what if he called you today and was like, yo, I want to fix hey, it. Hey, look, I don't think, I don't think anything is unforgivable. That's probably where he feels how it is right now. But I believe he could forgive him. But, yo, I just can't, I can't, I can't trust him anymore. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Would you do it? You, yo, I want to fix this. Okay. Would you do it? Because you just said it was unforgivable. So, so I, can, I can forgive, but it's still unforgivable. Like, how, how, how do... So you're still do, going full-fledged with the book? Every, I'm going full-fledged with everything because, like, if you yo, leave... Bilal, I have a question. I'm not going to lie. The way you kind of expose and will... You kind of made... With these two videos I posted and things you're saying, you're making it very obvious that... uh. Will swings that way. And you've been his best friend for 40 years. You sure you never done anything with him? Are you sure you never entertained the antics of Will? <laughs> Let us know. You know? What do y'all think, man? Nah, let me not drag it that way. He seems like a straight up dude. Eve Jada? You, mom, you, because I know you're going to be back to the morals and principles that you stood on when you leave. And I'm going to help you leave Jada because the stuff that I'm going to put out, you're going to because now you don't she doesn't have nothing to hold over you, Will.
See, that's the thing. Right now, it's like, oh, I, I, I know what I did here. I know what I did here. So Jada is playing that. Then even if he wanted to leave, there's a half billion dollars in limbo, right? It's like, okay, well, when is the opportune time to leave, right? There's no pre... It's it, it's complicated. When, when you got this type of money and power involved, no, it's complicated. The day Will leaves Jada, we're back best friends. Well, she said during her recent interview with Drew Barrymore, and she looked mm -hmm. like a warlock. She had on all that black and... Her head looked like a skull. It was just, it was real demonic. It, was, it, it wasn't given soft Jada. Um, she said that her and Will are staying together forever. She said that. Okay. So let me get back to Will again. Just one thing about Will. And this is another reason I can't forget him. This is a really lengthy story, so give me a Go second. Go ahead. So another business deal. So ironically, on Jada's birthday, they had a skating party at the house. Will requested that I come. Me and Will had a two-hour conversation. Um, at the time, I was dealing with a company called Zenny Optical. They're like one of the world's biggest online glasses retailers to the point they do about maybe $400 million a year mm. just selling glasses online. This was one of my clients, just to give some type of insight. So these people at Zenny Optical said, your reach to reach so many celebrities and influences are amazing. Let us create a eyewear line around Be Opulent, right? Now okay. this is this massive company. So <clears throat> I say, okay, let's do it. Now I make a, a, a well as, um, I do a lot of gemstone jewelry, high end. So like if you go to my website, you'll see amazing gemstone jewelry on there. That you is that buy. something that you Yeah, like, the, like like this one is. Because I was going to say, black. that's real nice. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, you were talking about maybe $100,000. Like we're talking about diamonds with egg drops in them, all, um, all high quality black diamonds. I do, then also I do watches with Arabic numbers on them called Abdul Salam. This one doesn't have the Arabic numbers on it, but you see it's my name on it, Abdul Salam, okay. right? So this is just stuff that I do just out of black genius, right? So they said, we, if you can give the glasses away with the jewelry that you sell mm -hmm. to the celebrities, this would be amazing. So, all right, we enter into a deal. We're working on that deal. Um, Will was like, hey, what are you working on? I said, hey, I'm working with this company any optical we're about to do this big deal i said well like i'm gonna be a millionaire like this is what we're talking about and i'm mm. and i'm like i need you to help me like what to do with the money because of course in our life we've made a million dollars but when you have a million dollars that you saved you need advice on how to mm. work that million yeah, dollars allocate it for so real. he was like i'll do more than that he said i'm gonna post the glasses for you i said well stop fucking around and i said it like that he said, but no, I, I that's, got that's you. Really, that's really the thing with money. Because think about it. People think saving is all good, but that's literally just the first step. You're saving. For, you have to save for a purpose, whether it's to, okay, we're going to get into money one-on-one. -on -one. You have to save for a purpose, whether it's to invest in property, stocks, real estate. But now if you just save money and just continue like building your bank account, just letting it sit there, you're realistically... Losing money, just letting it sit there because the dollar is nowhere near worth as much as it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. So if you have, if you make a hundred thousand dollars and just save it, it's not going to get you the same amount of things that it will get you in 10 years with that same hundred thousand dollars. But now if you're able to invest it into any asset, you will actually start making money. So it, it, it's, it's a whole entire different ball game when it comes to you know, having that money, which I understand what he's talking about. And that's just money one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get back into this. You, babe. I, I want to see you blow up. I, I, I want to see you be that millionaire. So I said, well, I'm about to call the company and let them know that mm -hmm. you said that you would post. So he said, okay. Um, then I said, let me just wait. He invited me to his birthday a few, like almost like a week later. Is that the skating park? Um, no, this okay. was a, so Jada and Will birthday are very close. Okay. So he, he had a birthday party at the movie theater in Calabasas and we watched King Richard, okay. right? So I see him at the, his birthday party. 
and we got pictures, everything. So he says, B, when are you going to get me the glasses? Yeah, yeah I was like, when, when are you going to get me the glasses? Right? I was like, oh, Will is real about this. He said, send everything to Fawn, and I'll take a picture, and I'll post it. Just tell me what the tag. Okay. So I get in touch with Fawn, who's Jada's friend for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, damn, why didn't he put me with this person? But once again, he told me to get with Fawn. So I sent everything. So Fawn, we got emails, text messages, all that kind of stuff, which I'm sending her the glasses for her to pick out for Will. So Will, um, so she picks out a number of glasses for Will. I send them to Miami because Will is in Miami finishing the book, right? I got the receipt from the FedEx with her name on it, the hotel that they were staying at in, in Miami, everything. So it gets there. I asked her, did she receive the package? She told me yes. Then I asked her, did you give Will the glasses? She said no. I said, well, Fawn, um, Will said he wanted the glasses. Are you going to give them to him? She said no. Jada told me don't give them to him. So, of course, I already told this company Some weird that Will was going to post. Mm -hmm. Right? <sighs> okay. So that was one thing. So, Will, you know I'm out there with this company now, right? Now, Will is dark. He, he's not saying anything. So, that's another thing that's unforgivable, right? Like, why would you do that to me and put me in that position, Will? Because, J because Jada says no? Like, are you a man? Like, we're talking as men. If me and you talking as men, then our word is our bond. And in Islam, that's something that we say. Our word is our bond. So if I say, hey, Tasha, I'm going to come back and do this second interview. I'm not going to do another interview until I do this interview with you. If I give you my word, that's my word and my bond. And that means something. Mm -hmm. So let's go on with the company. So I'm getting all these other celebrities to come to the company. Right. And we celebrities to come in into court about this. This is going to be crazy, all because Will's lawyer and Jada want to try to go behind my back and just start slicing the way that I make money, going to my clients and slicing me out. So this, I mean, it's going to. Are we going to leave that right there, man? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Jada be controlling Will. Will doesn't do anything about it. He's been a, what do you call that? Emasculated, castrated. No longer has balls. And in that video, he done admitted, you know what I'm saying? He already admitted that he, he does those things with those guys. But Carlton, too, bro. That's the part, man. I didn't think we'll be, we'll be getting Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air into this, too. But it ended up happening. If you guys did watch this point of video, since you did watch this point of video, Smash like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way. Go and catch me in the next one. Peace.